All right, here's the sea stone we were looking for. Uh, by the way, I went ahead and leveled my Crystarian, but we are actually uh, need more CP than I thought. Uh, one character needs like 240,000 CP. Uh, anyway, let's see what the Sea Stone has to say. Oh, I'll go over like the different abilities we learned and shit uh, a little later. The important thing to know right now is that we got all the full ATB skills, which are like limit breaks, which I'll show off later. Uh, mission 55, can't we all just get along? The mark is the Neo 2. It's located at Arch Outstep, Agris Pasture, which I believe is that clearing where we found the O2 before. It's a Class A mark. It's our first Class A mark. So yeah, we're definitely not meant to fight this thing yet, but we're going to give it a go. A new variety of O2, dubbed the Neo 2, has sprung up in Agris Pasture. The pest has been driving the garden variety O2 out of its limited habitat and straight into the jaws of extinction. Needless to say, my focus appears to be the elimination of the Neo 2 before it can succeed. Why do the Falci seek to solve every problem by having it killed? Can't they craft a world where we can all just get along? <laughs> they don't know how. Why would they care about that? Okay, so mission's been accepted. So now we need to go ahead and head to the waste stone we activated before by defeating all those um, ceratosaurs. Uh, anyway, so I will just cut there. Hey, we're not back at Agra's pasture yet, but we are back at the Archout Step. I was on my way, and I just wanted to point out that uh, we can now view Titan from the step. The, fa the great Grand Falci. Man, he is huge. We can't do anything with him yet, though. He is just hanging out over at the uh, Fault Warrens, I guess is where you would call that. But we can't get there yet. Oh, God. Where what have I gotten myself into here? Uh, yeah, besides close calls like that. Uh, anyway, now we're going to go to Agra's Pasture. And in case... I just wanted to make sure you, I showed off Titan, because I didn't know... I didn't think we were going to get to see him yet. Uh, Agra's Pasture is over here, so let's head on over. Found a random chocobo treasure. It is... Disc light do. I have no idea what that does. And we can't check it because we're in control of a chocobo. Ah, oh, found a sheep. Got some thick wool from it. <laughs> okay, we've arrived at Agra's pasture. And. Just so you can see, here is... Oh, get out of the way, Snow. Uh, the, the Neo Chew, accompanied by its f little friends, the Pico Chews. So basically, it's just a fall-like recolor of the uh, O2. So, real quick, I'll go over our setup that we have. Uh, Vanille is our leader, and she's accompanied by Snow and Hope. Our teams basically have Snow acting as a sentinel at all times. Uh, Vanille is sabot uh, starts out as a saboteur because uh, these guys are vulnerable to imperil. Um, combat clinic is for he healing, uh, protection too, uh, but Hope can synergize in that. Then we've got Entourage and Mystic Tower to do damage and Relentless Assault once the Pikachu's numbers are thinned. Okay, and for our equipment, I put Platinum Bangle on Vanille. A shield talisman so she'll have protect for the start of the battle. A black belt to increase her physical resistance. Uh, Snow has an Aurora scarf so he can immediately start sentineling from the get-go of the battle. The two generals belt maxed out that I made specifically for this battle, which increases his physical resistance by 50% total, which is awesome. He'll need it. Uh, I gave Hope accessories that boosted his HP and a black belt to increase his physical resistance. Uh, I wish I had a more uh, better... Like, at least another uh, Platinum Bangle, but oh well. Alright, so this strategy basically revolves around using Vanille's full ITV skill, Death. Uh, basically, it has a high chance of inflicting death on whoever she cast it on. If it's unsuccessful, it still does a lot of damage. Uh, the only way we have a chance against this guy is by casting Death, and hoping we get lucky in the first few rounds. So, uh, let's go ahead and try it, I guess. Ooh, he's a lot bigger up close. Okay. Abilities. Death. Uh, Neo 2. That did not start well. 
Okay, so it didn't work that time. Again, this has to work really quickly. Damn. Yet. Yeah, the strategy I'm using specifies that this has to work quickly. I don't know what the rush is, other than maybe it's trying to give us a five star. Still not working. Okay, let's keep trying then. We seem to be uh, outlasting the, the Pikachu's assault, so. Damn, this guy has a high death resistance, apparently. Still not working. Damn. Let's Libra it just for kicks. Come on, guy. Die. I, I'm going to catch when this guy finally dies. Okay, so he uses some kind of roar skill that instantly kills me. Is it really Great. over? Well, now I see why it has to work quickly. Alright, so let's try that again and just hope we get lucky with death, so I'll cut to when that actually happens. Okay, so as you can, might be able to see through that pause filter, uh, the Neo 2 has succumbed to death after... It didn't take that long, it took like three or four more battles worth of tries. Um, but the Pico 2s themselves are still a threat. So, yeah, let's switch to... Um, Entourage. No, not Entourage. Um, what is it? Uh, which one has her as a saboteur? Oh wait, no, Attrition. And we're gonna put um, Imperil Gut on. Put those on the Pichus. And then we'll have... Um, we'll go to Protection and have Hope put on Bravery and Faith. Hopefully. I don't know why he's putting on in fire. These guys must be, uh... Oh, weak against fire. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure this goes well. Come on, we don't need that. Hope. He's getting there, I think. He just has to put on every other freaking buff in the world first. We gotta win this. Oh man. Come on, really? He puts Faith or Veil first? Oh, wait, there he goes. Bravery and Faith. Alright, just put it on Vanille now. Hope. Oh. Alright, now let's switch back to Attrition and hopefully get Imperil Gut on, Imperil Gut on these guys. I don't know what the uh, success rate of it is, but... Okay, we got Imperil Gut on, so let's switch to uh, Entourage. No, not Entourage. No, Mystic Tower. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's do Fyra, Blizzard. Wait, no, these guys are against. Oh, they're against everything but water. Okay, so don't use water. Fyra, Blizzard, Fire. Okay. Let's just focus on this one then. Uh, switch back to Entourage so Hope can heal. Wait, which one has a commando that we can use? Well, these guys are already fallen to my attacks, so... I don't know how we're going to stagger them, though. Uh, maybe Entourage? Wait, we're in Entourage. Well, he's slowly falling, so I guess I'm okay with that. Just keep us healed, Hope. Alright, let's wait for this to go through. And then we'll switch to Mystic Tower, so Hope can get out on the action, too, for a second. We just need to thin their numbers out a little bit. Maybe two more. Just need to keep an eye on the HP, I guess. Oh, but he doesn't have a par uh, imperial gun on this one. So let's do that then. 
Why don't you have an imperial gun on you, Pico Chu? Man, these guys don't give up. They're just like relentlessly headbutting him. Okay, got imperial gun on. Let's switch back to uh, Misty Tower, I guess. Oh man, Hope thought it was appropriate to use Faraga. Let's keep doing that. Maybe I should use Faraga too. Oh man, that really does work. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay, put Imperial Gun back on. Man, I wish Imperial Gun would just work on all these guys. I wonder how many tri uh, tries it'll take. I get interrupted. I hate when that happens. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's do Mystic Tower again. And Hope's still using level 3 spells. Well, let's do that then. If Hope thinks it's okay, then I think it's okay. There I go. Okay, their numbers are thin, so I think let's switch back to Entourage and let Hope heal uh, Snow up. And then we can switch to Relentless Assault. Alright, actually maybe uh, it's better to go back to level 2 spells now. Man, it would be terrible if I got careless here. Alright. I don't think I'll get 5 stars. Or maybe I will, who knows. Frost Strike. Our buffs are slowly running out. I wish uh, haste had lasted all the way. And that's how it's done. Well, that wasn't scary at all. Boom shakalaka. Oh, and we got five stars. Awesome. And I used a Libra scope, so uh, we don't never have to fight this one again, I don't guess. And we got 62,500 Christogen points. That's freaking awesome. Mission complete. And we got a growth egg, which is what I was after. Boost our CP growth. So if we equip that to somebody all the way through chapter 12 and 13, that's going to give us a serious um, boost once we uh, freaking... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, it's going to give us a serious CP boost and we'll be start the post game off with a lot of CP under our belt. But for now, I want to get all the CP that I need to max out the stage we unlocked when we defeated Bartandalus. I think one character needed 240,000 and that was the most, so it shouldn't take that long to get. Uh, I'm going to fight the um, Behemoth King and the Magistatherian that uh, were near the entrance of the Mahabharata of Terra to do this, since we can kill them really easily now. In fact, I will cut there and show you. Okay, I'm near where we need to be, but I just wanted to point out that I'm replacing Hope's Sorcerer's Mark with the Growth Egg for the time being. Increases CP earned after battle by a factor of two. Um, his magic's so high that we don't need to worry about that. And yes, it affects the whole party, not just hope. So yeah. Okay, so... I've switched my team back to something more normal. Our default paradigm now is Aggression, which has Lightning and Fang as Commandos and Hope as a Ravager. So let's see, we should be able to get a preemptive on these guys, since they're so busy fighting each other. <laughs> yeah, it like jumped with its armpit into me. Alright, preemptive strike. And let's uh, do attack on Behemoth King. See, it's already dead before it, it's even completed its transform animation. And the Magisto Theory is not far behind. Yeah, so we kicked its ass. It's amazing how far we've come, huh? Battle duration 12 seconds, and we got 13,200 CP from that. Five stars and a monster's fame. Okay, so. It might be more lucrative to do the Mahabara Subterra grinding method that we did before. This is a little faster since we're just after CP for the time being. Um, so I'm just going to do this until I raise uh, the 240,000 CP that we need. Uh, 13,000 or whatever it was every time. It should only take like 12 battles. And then I'll finish out this Crystarium, and then I'll meet you guys back at the Rust Eaten Bridge in Ereba. And I'll tell you a little bit about what kind of treasures we got from the Crystarium this time when we get there.